Right, and until you got out of the first couple of rounds, there wasn't a whole lot of buzz going into the tournament about you this year. A lot of people are picking you to Houston. Is it different for you guys inside the locker room when the expectations are greater out of it? Um, you know, I mean, it's not. we're not really going to sweat it too much. It's not really too much different, but at the same time, we know that you know, coach holds us to a, to a higher level, and uh, we have to play to that higher level each and every day um, and practice on and off the court. You know, we have to hold everybody, each and, each and one of us, accountable. And, um, you know, I think we've done a good job of that so far. How much is it preached within the locker room to not overlook any single opponent? You know, I asked Coach Izzo the same thing. He said, that's why your win margin has been what it is this year, because you really do take it one game at a time. Exactly. We take it, and that's, that's our motto going into the tournament is to take one game at a time. You know, we're not going to look past any games. Um, we're just going to go one game at a time, and that's what's going to, you know, take us far. What does Middle Tennessee State do well that you guys are preparing for? Um, you know, they're a really well-coached team, um, pretty good players, uh, you know, you know, they're real scrappy, uh, athletic. You know, uh, all of their five guys um, cannot stretch out the floor and shoot the three. So it's really going to be um, uh, a pretty tough game, you know, but um, I think we can handle it. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Gavin, what's uh, Coach Izzo been like the last week? Or has it changed? Has he put the switch to March Madness mode yet? Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I, I can tell. You know, he's um, he stepped up another level, uh, a, higher, a higher level like he does every year. You can tell, you know, the intensity r rises up. Um, for you know, in the whole program, for everybody, for all the assistants, and we can definitely tell. You're an upperclassman on this team, so what do you tell the freshmen that are experiencing this for the first time about what to prepare for? Yeah, um, well, the freshmen, they just have to know that this is the time where, you know, you can't make any mistakes. You know, um, if you do make a mistake, uh, one mistake, then uh, that's when you get sent home. So you have to try your best to just not make any mental errors, and um, and then, you know, you'll be good. Against uh, Purdue, the bench played awesome. You guys pretty much carried the team. How much confidence does that give you guys going forward that if you count on, you guys can do it? Definitely. I mean, we have a lot of depth, so, you know, that's one good thing. So um, we can, you know, call guys off the bench and they'll make an, make an impact right away when they come in the game. So that's one thing, you know, you know we do have and um, we do take pride in. Do you get nervous before games? No, I don't really get nervous before games. I, I get more excited than nervous. You know, I, I'm really uh, focused and ready to go before games. How excited are you to get this NCAA tournament underway then? Man, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, it's my third one, so um, I'm just really excited to get it going because I know what kind of atmosphere, you know, this is all, all about, and uh, I'm just ready to get going. You guys ready to finish this year from when you started last year at the Final Four? Exactly. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get over that hump this year, you know, and um, win a couple more games. But um, our motto, you know, is just to be different and take uh, each game by, by game, you know, play game by game, not look past any, any games, and um, that's how we're going to get far this year. Thanks again. You're welcome.